Hey everybody, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and today we're doing another Q&A video talking about one and a half kilowatt electric bike motors. Today's question comes from Jeff Melcher who asks, I'd like your opinion on what bikes are available with the Bafang BBSHD and the M620 mid-drives. Also, where is the best place to buy to avoid scams and unanticipated costs? So this is a great question. Thanks for asking, Jeff. As always, if I take one of your questions and I turn it into a video, I will send you a free copy of one of my books, either DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or Electric Motorcycles. So Jeff, just shoot me an email, let me know which one of my books you'd like and where to send it. And anybody else, please put your questions down below, and hopefully I will turn those questions into a video as well. But today we're going to be talking about these powerful mid-drive motors, the Bafang BBS HD and the Bafang M620, also known as the Bafang Ultra, also known as the G510, I believe, is the internal code at Bafang. It's got a lot of names, but basically these are both very high power mid-drive electric motors. They're listed as 1000 watt continuous. They're really closer to about 1500 watts when they're run on a 48 or 52 volt battery at 30 amps, which is pretty standard for both of these motors. It's about 1500 watts. And some people even run them closer to 2000 watts by upping the current to 40 amps. I've seen people go higher. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but the motors can definitely handle 2000 watts. So these are very robust, very strong motors. <laughs> Both of them are incredibly torquey at 160 Newton meters. For comparison, I think Bosch's most torquey, torqueyest? Bosch's torqueyest motor is uh, 90 Newton meters, and most of them are in the, the 50 to 70 Newton meter range. So these are just incredibly powerful motors. The difference between the two is that the BBS HD is really meant more for DIYers and hobbyists who want to take a conventional bicycle and convert it into an electric bike using a mid-drive setup, but for a bike that doesn't necessarily have a way to accept a traditional mid-drive. So uh, you'd basically just pull the bottom bracket out of the bike and replace it with the BBS HD. With the Bafang Ultra or the M620, this is a purpose-built mid-drive for purpose-built mid-drive electric bikes. That means it has a accepting plate that it fits into and that needs to be an integral part of the frame. So in order to use that motor, the bike has to be built for the motor from the factory. My first experience with that M620 was when I visited the Frey Bike Company in Jinhua, China. They invited me out there to check out their factory and ride their bikes. They use um, the Bafang M600 and the M620. The M600 is just a slightly smaller, less powerful version, but it's still pretty crazy, like 120 Newton meters. But the M620, the Bafang Ultra, is the one that a lot of people really love because it's so powerful. These bikes, they're just... <laughs> They're just crazy. Uh, you, you pop these things into lowest gear and the front wheel just rises right up. That's how much power and torque these motors have. So they're pretty crazy and I understand why a lot of people are into them. You do have to be a bit careful because it's so easy to destroy chains and um, chain rings and cranks and cassettes. I mean, these motors just, they, they chew up weak bike parts for breakfast. So if you're gonna be using these, you wanna use some pretty high quality parts, you know, nice chains, um, nice cassettes, that sort of thing. When it comes to looking for the actual motors themselves, um, in terms of sourcing, there are a few places to get these motors. If you're in the US, um, LunaCycle sells both of the motors. Uh, California E-Bike sells the Bafang BBS HD. I don't think they sell the M620, but I think they sell uh, parts for it. Most people aren't gonna be looking to buy the M620 itself because you have to buy that adapter plate and weld that into your frame. So you're basically becoming a frame builder at that point. Uh, it's, it's an option for people that want to do that, but if you're building your own electric bike, you're doing a conversion from a uh, existing standard bike, from a pedal bike, some people call them acoustic bikes, you know, electric, acoustic, then you're going to want to go with the Bafang BBS HD. If you don't want to buy from the US or you're from anywhere else, uh, EM3 EV is definitely a good option for the Bafang BBS HD. Um, it's also a good option if you're in the US, it's just they're um, shipping from China, so um, if you want to get something quicker, you might want to order from a U.S. company. But uh, anywhere else in the world, it's probably a good idea to go with EM3 EV. There's also AliExpress. Um, every year around uh, November 11th, I do a 11-11 uh, Singles Day video about uh, sales for um, Bafang mid-drives from AliExpress, and you can often get some good deals then. You can get the, the mid-drives all year, it's just the prices are best around then. The problem with AliExpress is you don't really know the companies you're buying from, 
and you don't know if they're using substandard parts or if you're gonna get the exact display that you wanted with your Bafang mid-drive. Basically, it's just a little more of a, of a gamble, I would say. But a lot of people buy from AliExpress and they have great experience, so it's another option. In terms of bikes that already come with these motors, there are a number of options there as well. The Bafang BBSHD is not as common on uh, retail e-bikes. Like I mentioned, it's really meant for uh, people who are doing their own conversions. There are some uh, retail e-bikes out there that use it. The uh, Rambo series of bikes uses it. That's a bike that I rode back at Interbike um, a year ago, I guess a year and a half ago now. Um, there's also Lunacycle has Bafang BBSHD bikes as well that they build and sell. But you're really going to be looking more at the Bafang Ultra if you're looking for a retail OEM electric bike that comes with one of these super powerful 1500 watt mid drives. In that case, you're going to be looking at companies like uh, there's Beak Tricks in Canada, um, there's Frey, of course, like I mentioned before. They've got multiple models with the Bafang Ultra. There's the AM1000, the uh, CC, which is the commuter model, the EX. Um, they've got the um, it's like the Hunter or the HT model, it's the hardtail. They, they've got a bunch of bikes with the, uh, with the Bafang Ultra motor. Um, let's see who else. There's Watt Wagons. Uh, they do really cool titanium bikes. I haven't tried one of those. Uh, I was trying to work it out with them at a certain point to get a loaner, but the timing just never worked out. But I've, I've seen their bikes and they look very nice. So uh, that would definitely be one to check out. Uh, who else? Um, I think Luna also has the Bafang M620 in the Apollo maybe. Um, Basically, there's a, there's a lot of different companies out there that are using the Bafang M620 now, the Ultra motor. So I definitely recommend just, just going out to Google and just Google, you know, Bafang Ultra retail e-bike, and you'll probably get a ton of, of different options. It's hard for me to keep track of all of them. Uh, oh, there's Quiet Cat in North America as well, though they sell Frey bikes. So actually, if you wanted a Frey bike and you didn't want to order through Alibaba or something, you could get it through Quiet Cat with a bit of a markup. There's just, there's a lot of options out there. Uh, one thing that I will note is legality. Uh, you want to check with your local e-bike laws before you get one of these bikes or a, or a motor to convert a bike because at 1500 watts, they're not going to be legal in a lot of places for street use. You can limit them so you can put it in like street legal mode at 750 watts or something. If that's enough, you know, it's, you can have that conversation with the police officer on the side of the road. Oh no, I had it in 750 watt mode. But you do want to check your local laws because you don't want to end up getting one of these bikes and finding out you can't use it or you can only take it on trails. So look into that. Don't get ahead of yourself and wind up with a bike that you can't ride. All right, so thank you very much for that question, Jeff. I hope that was helpful and I hope everyone else found that interesting. Remember, anyone else who wants to uh, win one of my books for free, you can put a question below and hopefully I'll make a video out of it. But there's another way to win my books. As you know, I always do a giveaway at the end of my videos. And now the randomly selected commenter from my last video who will win one of those books is... Mithras Thelema. So congratulations. Just let me know which one of my books you'd like. Either DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or Electric Motorcycles. And let me know where to send it. And everyone else, hopefully you guys will be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. See you next time, everyone.